With LTE, it's the first time we will have a global standard, one global standard for mobile communication. We have had over the years, we have many first generation standards, a little fewer second, still a little bit fewer third generation, but now finally in the fourth generation LTE, we will converge to one standard. However, it's a little bit different how you will get there. Um, the first movers will be the CDMA players because there is not really a clear evolution on the CDMA track. So first ones, notably Verizon and others will go into LTE. Then you have a second group that will move in and that is if you are on the TDS CDMA track in China, then China Mobile has been very vocal about moving into and creating a world standard around the TDLTE. And that is a natural choice because LTE has both an FTD mode and the TDD mode. So that makes TDS CDMA evolving into the TDLT very natural. Which again then makes it a good choice for other countries with lots of TDD spectrum. Like now India is launching the BWA auctions that is TDD spectrum in 2.3 and the center gap of 2.6 makes TDLT a good choice also for those spectrum. Thirdly moving in is the current mainstream 3GPP players like on HSPA that will have LTE as a next step for fourth generation. And finally, the WiMAX camp operators there, like ClearWire, when they launch now, their, their network have said that they will build their network in such a way that it will be later possible to upgrade to LTE. So all these four different tracks, CDMA, TDS, CDMA, HSPA, and WiMAX have expressed a clear wish to move into LTE as a next step. The one 4G standard that is going to be the global standard. So how fast will we move in there? Well, it depends on, again, where you are, but we must remember that it's still 10 years between every generation. Analog came in 81, GSM came in 91, Wiband CDMA came 2001, and now we will have LTE coming, the first com networks coming out somewhere early 2010. Again, 10 years almost have passed. So we have to remember HSPA is far down the learning curve. We have 100 countries, 200 networks, 1,000 devices, almost 300 million subscribers, all on HSPA today, growing very, very quickly. And of course, that we will see for decades to come, being a mature, te mature technology. But around the corner, we also have LTE, the first global standard for mobile communications.